Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is Debs, and this is your reading for December 2022. Leo, um, in meditation, I saw a woman sitting in an office. She looked very official. She was wearing dark rimmed glasses and she was sifting through an in tray. And she was methodically, with a red pen, putting no at the top of most of these documents. No, next one. No, next one. Writing out no, 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 no. She came across one. And she was about to write no, and then she peered at it. She really looked at it. And she thought, oh, well, maybe. Maybe. And she put it as a single piece of paper in another in tray. The no in tray was piled high, but there was one particular piece of paper that had maybe on it. She put it in that in tray. Then the vision faded. Leo, you may have said no a lot. <laughs> Leo, it might have been to various people, love interests, people that showed you that they were keen on you. You might have said, no, 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 no. Not what I'm looking for. Not what I want. Not for me. Something's going to happen, Leo, where you're going to find yourself saying maybe. And I say find yourself because it's almost going to come out of your mouth without you realising it. Okay. <laughs> so, Leo, whatever this is, uh, let's delve into this reading. So, using an angel or the courts to help me connect through with Source, the deck is the Tarot of Dreams, Chiro Marchetti. You're going to find yourself saying, maybe. It came out, Leo, Knight of Wands. Now, could this be a younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, or is this you thinking, to hell with it, I'm going to go for it. This could be you, Leo. This could be you. So here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos. This is December 2022. What do we have for my Leos, please, Michael? And who do we have with us in their reading? Archangel Ariel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Michael. I'm seeing someone reading a storybook and they turn the page and the next page is blank. Is the divine saying, Leo, you could write your own story from here on? You've learned your lessons. There's nothing else that you need to learn. Maybe, Leo, this is you having gone through a series of tests. You may have reached emperor or empress level. You said no a lot. You push people away. You could be saying maybe to this one opportunity. Yeah. Arnold's behind me. I don't know why I'm called to say this. He's saying Margaret had blue eyes. Blue eyes, blue gray eyes, he's saying. Beautiful blue gray eyes. Somebody here may have blue gray eyes, male, female. Or there could be somebody, Leo, who is seeing you as someone they want to get to know. Maybe they're a bit, you know, maybe they're attracted to you. I'm hearing. That old Elton John. Did Elton John do a, do a song called Blue Eyes? I'll try and find it. Wow, that was a long time ago. Might have got it wrong. I'll find it. I'll find it. Okay, guys. Michael's saying stop and cut. Okay, he's now showing me a really big red triangle with stop written on it. It's as if the divine is saying, Leo, don't disregard this one, not this one, not this one. Don't say no to this one, okay? Very important message for someone. Faith, have faith, Leo. You could have been deep in thought, manifesting 
a new cycle. You could be thinking about a Taurus. A Taurus could be thinking about you. Have faith because you will find out the truth. There will be a truth spoken, Leo. And whatever that truth is, is going to cause you to stop and think that maybe this could work, is what I'm hearing. Maybe this could work. In the past, Knight of Cups, you either moved towards someone that you were very attracted to and feelings developed, or you may have been in contact with someone who moved towards you. Could have been a younger water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody opened up their heart. Three of coins. I'm getting the energy, Leo, of you saying that you were too busy. Okay, for some of you, you didn't feel maybe it was worth your while. You didn't think you could trust the situation. You weren't sure that this was your person. I'm seeing the three of pentacles as you just very, very busy. Somebody wanted to get to know you. I think you didn't have faith in the situation and you pushed them away. What you're thinking about now is the Queen of Pentacles. What you're thinking about, Leo, is somebody wants to get to know you and you are ready to move into a committed relationship. You're ready to get a bit more serious, Leo. Yeah. It's time. It's time. In the immediate future, the moon, afraid of what you can't see, fears coming to the surface. What if it doesn't work out? What if they break my heart? Leo, you won't know until you have dipped your toe in the water. You just won't know. I think that's what scares you. You could be connecting with a Cancerian in the immediate future. What you're fearful of, Leo, is actually hanging on to an old cycle that you know is over. Clinging on to, I'm hearing, hiding your face from the world. So, Leo, maybe you've been in too much. Maybe you have not been social. Maybe people have wanted to meet up with you and you push them away. You're afraid of being vulnerable, Leo. That's coming through very strongly. Whoever is in your environment is sitting in the energy of the Queen of Swords. Now, Leo, either they are seeing you sat in the Queen of Swords. You kind of got your battle gear on. You've got your sword raised. You're looking very suspicious. So they could be thinking of you. How am I going to approach Leo? Because I know that they're going to be guarded. They're going to push me away. They're in fight mode. Or this for you masculine Leos could be a Queen of Swords who's very interested in you. We'll see. What you're hoping for, Leo, beautiful, is the Ten of Cups. So you do want a relationship. <laughs> I'm hearing, despite the energy that you put forward to other people, you do want a relationship. So obviously that means that you may have given the impression you're very happy single. I'm abundant by myself. I don't need anyone. I don't really feel as if I want to get involved with anyone. I'm too busy anyway, is what I'm hearing. But in your heart of hearts, Leo, you do want the Ten of Cups. You do. Yeah. Oh, Leo, Seven of Wands. Really? Really? You're going to push this person away? Are you going to be in defence mode? The divine is saying, Leo, don't push this one away. This one is different. This one is worth looking at. I just get the sense that you've gone on automatic, Leo, pushing away people left, right and centre. I don't trust anyone. I don't believe in love anymore. Everybody cheats type of energy. No, Leo, not everyone cheats. 50% of my clients wanting private readings are male. I'm heartbroken over this woman. I want to be with this woman. I'm trying to find the love of my life. Where is she? Yes, Leo, they are out there. I'm hearing one guy out there saying, yeah, that's, that's me. Um, don't push this one away, Leo. 
I don't think they mean you any harm. I don't think they have got any ill intent. Yes, they could be younger than you. That might worry you. Yes, they could be full of passion. And you might think, oh my Lord, do I really want this? They could wear their heart on their sleeve a little bit. But Leo, is that a problem? Really? The chariot, Cancerian energy. Someone is wanting to travel to see you. Because they've ended a cycle. Now somebody could have ended a cycle with a Cancerian. I don't know why Cancer's coming through so strongly. Sorry guys. It's not necessarily a reading pertaining to a Cancer here. But we've got the Moon and the Chariot, which are both Cancerian energy. Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. Leo, I know what this is. I know what this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, five of Wands. Arguments and disagreements because you're the Empress or this person was married. Justice. They've gone through a legal contract. We have a lawyer here and we've got the Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah. Six of Coins dividing the assets. This is very clear, Leo. Okay. You've got someone coming back to you. Michael's asking me to split the deck, death card. Yeah, you've got someone coming back to you to say that they've ended potentially a marriage. I don't think, sorry guys, Knight of Pentacles underneath that. I don't think they told you the truth when they met you, Leo. I think you put your guard up. I think you were very suspicious. They could have lied through their teeth, Leo. Or just evaded the conversation. But this is someone who's actually gone through a divorce. It could have happened five, ten years ago. It could be that you met this person six months ago. But this is someone who, if they are not actually divorced, finally, they are moving through the divorce process. I think they're coming back to you, Leo, because... Either their other half found out that they had feelings for you and this other half got very upset, their other half decided to end it. Or this is someone who met you unexpectedly, did not expect to fall in love with you. You two may have had a flirtation, a romance, but I think it was very short lived. This person went back to their partner but realised they were missing you. And I think this is someone who was coming back to you to say they're ending a cycle. Archangel Michael keeps telling me, don't push away this one. This person's gone through a lot. They're expecting you to be guarded. They're expecting you to ask a lot of questions. But they do want to be with you, Leo. Okay. So here we have with the Ace of Swords and the Faith card, you... I think I've been praying to move on to a new cycle or you're just wanting to keep the faith. Ace of Swords, I want to keep the faith that my person's out there, somebody honest, reliable, somebody who's going to tell me the truth, somebody who has cut out another situation, isn't involved with anyone else. You may have been trying to manifest this quietly, maybe even subconsciously, Leo. In the past, Knight of Cups, there was somebody that came in to say they they had feelings for you, Leo. I am getting someone quite romantic. I think this person genuinely fell for you. But I think they very quickly moved away from you because I feel they were going through a very difficult time in a long-term partnership. And I think they actually tried to do the right thing. I think they tried to go back to their partner and sort of repair the marriage, repair the living situation, whatever this was. I think you were a little bit nervous anyway, because this might have come out of the blue. You might have met this person and there might have been an instant chemistry, an instant connection. But I think there was something inside you, Leo, that made you feel this is not going to last. And I feel... 
they might have tried to reach out a couple of times, but I think your reaction was three of coins. I think your reaction was, no, I, I don't think it's a good idea to me. I'm really busy right now. I don't think you told the complete truth, Leo. You could have made time for this person, but you may have been a bit suspicious. This is someone who may have come on very strong and then pulled back and then tried to contact you and then got a pushback from you and decided to leave it. I do think there were emotions between the two of you, but I think you just got on with work again. What you're thinking about is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, for some of you who might be going back in time, remembering when you met this person, you may be wondering whether or not they are with a karmic partner or still with a karmic partner. It could be, Leo, that you're actually in a very balanced place. You've worked hard on your stability. You're strongly connected to your higher self, very high vibe energy. You could be a light worker. You could work with spirituality as such. With the Ace of Swords, you cut out the past and you're moving forward with a beautiful light energy. This is truth and integrity. And you are also sitting in the Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, which is someone I feel who has their own stability. So you have an awful lot to offer, Leo. And I think right now you're in a pretty good place. But I'm almost getting a forging forward energy from you. Don't bother me, I'm busy. No, I don't want to be bothered with love. No, no, no. I'm moving forward with my life. I've got my friends and I'm hearing of my family and my pets and I'm cool, then I've got a boyfriend or whatever this is, girlfriend. You're not looking for anyone serious, Leo. But I think this person is coming back and they've been through quite a lot. And I think they're coming back to apologise and to tell you that they do want a relationship with you. Archangel Michael keeps telling me, don't push this one away. Okay, you're going to be tempted to. So, Michael, when have we got the moon and the queen of swords for my lovely Leos? Thank you, Michael. He's telling me something might have happened to do with this in September. This person may have tried to reach out in September. Okay, Michael's telling me the 21st of December. So, a few days before Christmas. 21st of December, December, he's pointing forward, he's smiling at me, okay. Leo, this may be an ongoing reconnection, acquaintanceship, situationship, that you are going to be easing yourself into. I'm seeing someone settling themselves very slowly into an armchair, leaning back. Settling yourself into this. You are nervous. As are they, I have to say, Leo. As are they. I think either they were dealing with a Queen of Swords, who could be a karmic partner, who basically said, I've had enough, I want out of this relationship. Or this is them feeling that if they come back to you, you're going to be very short with them. You're going to be a bit frosty. You're going to keep your distance. You're going to have questions. Whatever this is, this person is thinking about that. With the energy of the moon, Cancerian energy, you're not sure what this person's real situation is. You're a bit guarded. You don't know if you trust them. You're not sure if what they say to you is going to be true. You still feel that there's a little bit of a veil over their situation. But Leo, you're also hiding the fact that you actually have feelings for this person still. You can't help it. You just do. What you're fearing is actually clinging on to an old cycle that's dead and gone. The divine wants you to let go of this, even though it's scary, right? If this woman falls off this cycle, she's going to fall onto these swords. Could be painful, <laughs> right? particularly for her posterior. But anyway, <laughs> I had to say that. But yeah, I think, Leo, you're a bit afraid of shifting into a new cycle, even though the truth is you're ready. You're ready. And you've manifested this reconnection. What you're actually hoping deep down inside, Leo, even though you probably would not admit this, 
probably not have met this. We've got the Ten of Cups. Now, sure, you could be hoping this person isn't sitting there with a karmic partner and a couple of kids just wanting a fling with you. But I think this is you hoping for the Ten of Cups with this person silently. Now, Leo, this is the only card that is a bit of a black sheep in the reading because it doesn't make sense. Well, it does, because this is you just basically putting up massive boundaries. But it's a shame because the Five of Wands is somebody who is so scared. They're pushing someone away. They're pushing people away. Don't come anywhere near me. I'll fight you is sort of the energy, which is crazy, Leo. Either you've been through so much that all you can think about is, I'm just going to get my heart broken, or you don't trust this person in particular. And this is you having real problems in giving them a chance. But I think they're moving towards you, Leo. Here we go. The chariot and the world. Now, this is lots of travel energy. So they could live a distance. They could live in another state, another city, even another country. They could have ended things with the world with a Cancerian, or they could be a Cancerian who's ended things with a karmic. There's also Leo there. For some reason, I'm noticing this little full energy. But someone is moving towards you, wanting to tell you that they've ended a situation. But underneath that is the Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords. I think this is what you're thinking about, Leo. Is this person simply wanting to be indulged? Are they coming forward to me to basically get what they want, which could be a short-term fling, you know? And then they're just going to leave again. You're worried about this. You don't know for sure what their motives are. Could you trust them? Do you believe them? Now, if this is what happened before, Leo, they were overindulgent, they hid the truth. This is this person knowing that you're sat in the Queen of Swords because they, the, the way they behaved before, because of what they did before. And they're nervous to approach you. But I tell you what, they're having the courage to do it. And that takes some courage. So, my beautiful Leos, we're going to delve in. I'm going to be moving the camera a fraction. Okay, yeah. All right, beautiful Leo. Let's jump in and see what comes through in this reading. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Faith card crossed with the Ace of Swords? This is the next, possibly the next couple of months worth of energy. Okay, Two of Swords, yeah. You're undecided, Leo. <laughs> You're undecided what to do about this person. I'm almost getting an emotionally tormented energy. Yes, I have emotion for them. Yes, I'm very attracted to them. Oh my goodness, they're single. But, there's always that word, Leo. But, they didn't tell me the truth in the past. But, they were with somebody else in the past. I'm getting those words once bitten, twice shy. Yeah. What happened, Leo? What happened to Leo? What happened to Leo? They left you out in the cold. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. They might have very sharply disconnected and that was really painful. Yeah. Page of Swords. I think you're remembering what happened before, Leo. I think this person sort of swept you up, love bombed you almost, romanced you, and then disconnected very sharply. They may have made an excuse. It could be that they were living in another place. Oh, well, we had fun, you know, Leo, but of course I'm in a different country now, so we probably won't meet again, but have a great life and you may have been shocked and you may have looked back at the situation thinking oh my goodness how stupid was I because I didn't see that this person potentially just wanted a short-term situation and I think it upset you because this was a pretty unemotional message almost in passing yeah we had fun well you know 
these things happen. Nice to meet you, but uh, have a good life, you know? Oh. Yeah, Leo, it was painful. Star. The star. You took some time to heal from this, Leo. This is a bit painful. We've got Aquarian energy. I think you're nice and balanced. You may have kind of glowed up, Leo. Okay. What happened in the past with the Knight of Cups? Yeah, look at that. Fascinating. So this is somebody who came in hot and fast to you. Lots of romance, lots of passion. And then they left, almost under cover of darkness. They just left. You did move on. You took this as a series of lessons you had to learn, but it was painful. You hoped for more. You hoped that this would develop into something. Yeah, and the Three of Wands, Leo, you sort of dreamed about this person coming back to you. There's a strong indication, there's a lot of water here, ships and water, travel energy, that they lived a distance. But I don't think they came back to you. If they reached out to you, it was just a very sort of flippant, casual message. Hey, Leo, how are you? And I think you felt that because of what had happened... You deserved an apology. You deserved an explanation. And they didn't put forward either of those things. And so I think when they did return to you, you might have said, I'm busy. You know? So what happened with the three of coins? What happened with the three of coins? Yeah, you used your intuition, Leo. You used your intuition. You could have Pisces in your chart, or this person was a Pisces. But you used your intuition and you said no. What was Leo's intuition? That this person was in fact actually married or living with somebody long term, serious relationship. You may not have known for sure, but together with the fact that there was no apology... There was not even a sense that this person felt any guilt. They kind of just charged back into your life, maybe a few months later. Hey, Leo, are you around? And I think you couldn't believe it. And for both of those reasons, you just said no. Not doing this. So what you're thinking about is the queen of coins. You may wonder if this person, because they're coming back to you, has ended things with a karmic partner. What is on Leo's mind? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Eight of Cups. Have they walked away from the Queen of Pentacles? Are they coming back to me because they've ended another relationship? I don't think you knew for sure what this person's situation was. Justice, yes. Have they gone through a legal court case? Are they coming back to balance the scales? Libra energy. So, Michael, let's delve into this person's energy. Why are they sat in the Queen of Swords? Oh, Five of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. So either they dealt with the Queen of Swords who found out they may have been interested in you and this person ended the relationship. Or they're conflicted, expecting you to give them a really hard time with your guard up, you being the Queen of Swords, because of what happened before. But they're coming in, Leo. What is this person saying to Leo? Wow, Ten of Swords. My relationship ended. They may then admit, yes, I was with somebody else. It was going through, I was going through a tough time. We weren't getting on. They may say it's now completely over. What are they saying to Leo? What are they saying to Leo? Yeah, King of Swords. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or they may be saying to you, Yes, I mean, I, I spoke to a lawyer. Um, there was a whole court case thing. 
it was difficult. King of Swords can sometimes be a lawyer, somebody in the government, somebody dealing with information, contracts. Yeah, what are they saying to Leo? The Fool. I want to start a new journey with you. Yeah, this is someone who is wanting to be with you, Leo. They could have ended things with an Aries, or they could be an Aries. What is this person saying to Leo? Page of coins. So they may be honest and say there's a child in the mix. You may not know, but this person was a father. Okay, so this person may have a child. They may admit that. Or with a page of coins, they could literally turn up with a massive apology, a little gift, and everything's going to come out, Leo. Everything's going to come out. I don't get a sense this person is going to pull the wool over your eyes. Not for a second time, Leo. No way. They're not going to risk that. I think this is somebody who's going to sort of blurt out the truth. I almost feel they want to get it off their chest. What their situation was, what they went through, exactly what happened since the two of you were in connection. And I think then they're going to want to know if you're interested in rebuilding the trust. What is this person going to say to Leo? It's been a long, difficult journey, is what I'm hearing. I've learned a lot of lessons. I was in a very complicated situation. But I found myself coming right back to you again, Leo. That's what they're going to say. What is this person saying to Leo? Goodness me, guys. Judgment. I had to face Judgment Day. It was very stressful. Sagittarian energy. But I made the right decision. And I want to come back and tell you what happened. This is what they're going to say, Leo. What are they going to say to Leo? The Emperor, yeah. They took charge of their situation, Leo. I do think this is somebody who acted with integrity. The Emperor in the Upright acts with integrity. Apart from the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups, which I think was what happened before, I don't think this is somebody who was coming back to lie to you or deceive you for a second time. They've gone through the Ten of Swords. And I think this is them coming to you to apologise, to ask your forgiveness and to lay everything out on the table. How is Leo feeling at this point of time? You don't know, Leo. There's a lot of stagnant energy. The moon is fear of what you can't see. And the hangman is you not knowing what decision to make. This is you not moving. Symbolically, not saying yes or no. This is you saying, as in the vision, maybe. Maybe. What is Leo thinking about? The tower. This is going to be a surprise. You're not going to expect this. And you will have a decision to make, Leo. Two of Wands. What decision are you going to make, my Leos? What is Leo thinking about? That maybe it's been all work, no play with the Eight of Coins. You may also be looking back at the past, Leo, a little bit. Looking back at the past, maybe for some of you thinking, you know what, well, all I've done over the last five, ten years is work. I'm due to have some happiness. You're thinking about things very carefully. Queen of Wands, this is you, Leo. I think, first of all, you want to ensure that this relationship that they were in is actually over. If it's not and they're in the process, you may ask the question, do you know when you're going to finalise all of this? I don't think you're going to be shy in asking some relatively personal questions, Leo, about this person. What actually happened in your relationship? What situation were you in? You may want to check this person has their own financial security, Leo. What is their job situation? If this is somebody at a distance, are they planning on relocating to your area or not? 
What the divine is asking you to do, Leo, is not sit in a cloud of either fear or a cloud of, oh my God, I can't believe they come back to me. I still love them. You know, a little bit fairy tale. It's going to be awkward because I think there's going to be a mixture of you being quite excited, but also terrified of taking that step forward with this person again. I think what the divine is saying is just be logical, Leo. Be very calm. I mean, you know, you don't want to grill this person. <laughs> but don't be afraid of asking those questions. And if there's any elusive energy, you need to let this person know that that is what makes you feel uncomfortable. Because there's going to be a yes or a no to your questions. Are you actually divorced? I mean, it is yes or no. It's not kind of, well, I don't really feel as if I want to talk about it. No, Leo, if they're at all elusive, then that will tell you a lot. Okay, so watch for that. Also, watch for them asking all about you because they don't want you to ask all about them. You need to know the basics, Leo. Are they still with that person? Do they have children? What's going to happen to their kids if they move? Are they going to move to be nearer you? If not, do you want a long distance relationship? Do they ever feel as if they want to marry again? What is their financial situation? Was it an amicable split with their ex or is their ex sitting there fuming? Do they know about you? I mean, you need to, you need to ask these questions. What is the energy between these two people? Yeah, now that's interesting because I think both of you are single, Leo, at this point of time. Archangel Michael, what is the Seven of Wands? You're very defensive. What is Leo being defensive about? What is Leo being defensive about? Wow, the devil. Oh my goodness, Leo. Guys, I could get very deep, deep into this, but I'm not going to because I think you guys would probably click off and boredom. But in basic terms, you may be wondering, Leo, whether or not this person has really dealt with their shadow side. Are you going to have to go through a series of lessons again if you allow them into your life? It's also the energy, Leo, of the divine saying to you, don't sit in fear of moving forward with this person because it could turn into a very unhealthy, toxic obsession of negative thinking. You need to really look at that. Now, for others of you, Leo, I actually think that you've got two people coming in. I think you've got a king of wands, king of cups, and you've got a king of coins. Now, if the king of coins is a Taurus or a Capricorn, then just at the time that you may be considering moving forward with someone who could be sitting in Aries, Cancerian, Pisces energy in particular, maybe also Sag, at the same time this person turn, turns up, you may have an ex coming back who may realise that you are getting yourself into a relationship and they want to be with you. This is somebody who may have been quietly sitting on the sidelines wanting to be with you but dragging their feet. They may now be a bit obsessed with being with you. So Leo, this is you pushing that person away. This is you thinking, hell no. It's tough enough making a decision to move forward with this emperor. I don't want to be dealing with somebody sat in the energy of the devil too much. Who is the devil? Who is the devil? Who is the devil? Yeah. Somebody, Leo who may have been juggling you with somebody else in the past. This is someone you're not interested in anymore. Who is this person? Okay, Seven of Swords. Yeah, Leo, they were sneaky as hell before. 
I think they're coming back suddenly realizing that you may be getting yourself into a new relationship. What is Leo going to say to this person? Four of Cups, I'm sorry, but I'm just not interested anymore. You were sneaky in the past. Uh, you're coming back to say you want me back, but I'm now with my Emperor. So Leo, this is going to be a bit tough. What is this person's reaction? What is this person's reaction? Yeah, this is going to be tough, Leo. Ace of Coins, but I want to be with you. How does Leo feel about the Emperor? How does Leo feel about the Emperor? How does Leo feel about the Emperor? Okay, six of coins. You do believe that this Emperor Leo is wanting equal give and take. With the six of pentacles, you also may learn that he is being honest. He has, for instance, gone through divorce or going through divorce. He is acting with integrity. So what is going to happen between Leo and this person sat in the Seven of Swords and the Devil? Good God, Leo. What is going to happen? Yeah, this is somebody from your past. You're going to be reviewing the past, but I think you're going to say no, Leo. No, I'm not interested in this. Because I don't think at this point you want to scupper your chances with the Emperor. Okay, how are things going to work out with the Emperor? Strength. It's going to need, you're going to need a lot of courage and confidence, Leo. That's your energy. Because it's not going to be easy to give this person a second chance. But I think you will. I think you will. What is going to happen between Leo and the Emperor? The magician, I think you're going to manifest a new connection together. Yep, Ace of Wands, there's a passionate new start. But I think whoever this is may turn up just at the wrong time, Leo, when you're reacquainting yourself with this emperor, and it's going to be a shock. So what is going to happen between Leo and this Emperor? Two of Cups. Leo. This is really lovely, guys. So Leo is going to be a rather dramatic December, maybe January, February next year. I think, Leo, maybe after quite a long time of being on your own, working, concentrating on you, concentrating on your family, your environment, whatever this is, You've got two people coming back to you. I think you've got someone who could be an earth sign or an air sign. We've got Capricorn there and we've got Taurus. I think we've got this person coming back to you, but you're pushing them away because you feel as if they're sitting in very unhealthy energy. This is somebody who may just be sexually obsessed with you. I don't know, Leo. But they were juggling you with somebody else. They were sneaky. And I think they regret what they did. And they're coming in to say, I really want to work on a relationship with you. But Leo, it may be just after this emperor turns up from the past. Saying, I've ended a relationship. I'm now single. And I want to tell you what happened. I, I want to just lay everything out on the table. So this is very interesting. The Two of Cups, Leo, and the Ace of Cups. You're killing me, Leo. This is so beautiful. I think it's going to work out with this Emperor. I think there's going to be a lot of conversation. I think you're going to put your fears at the door. You're going to take it really slowly. But I don't think you're going to say no to this one, Leo. I think you're simply going to say maybe. Okay? Yeah. All right, people, now let's move to Messengers of the Heart. Let's find out, first of all, what your emperor would want to say to you. 
came straight out missing you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. Is it, Leo? Is it too late? Is it too late? What else does this emperor want to say to Leo? Broken. Oh my goodness. They feel broken inside. And don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. So Leo, this is somebody who may have gone through it, really gone through it. I think you want to find out whether or not they're ready for a relationship. I think they're coming in very quickly because they don't want you to move on with anyone else. But you may decide to take your time with this. Can we just have a card relating to... This person who sat in the energy of the devil and the seven of swords. That's a horrible combination, guys. They're coming back in. I don't think you trust them. Yeah, unseen factors. There's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still so much more to unfold. Yeah, I think this person is wearing a blindfold. I think this person wants you to remain blindfolded to their situation. They could be a perpetual player. This is somebody who may have girls in every port, that type of person. Or they simply have a very unhealthy sexual obsession with you, Leo. And this is not the sort of person for you. Okay, guys, not for you. So I think this person is coming back. I think the Empress, so I think the Empress is coming back. And I think you two are going to be building this connection again. Yeah, underneath the deck, healing. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. Yeah. I think this is your person. So, Leo, it's been a beautiful reading. I hope it's helped. As always, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Leo.